Hi everybody! Thank you for joining us for Little Clips for Little Readers. My name's Miss Kelly and today we're talking all about... <gasps> what are we talking about? We're talking about bugs! Bugs are types of insects and bugs have six legs or more and at least one pair of wings. What is this? This is a fly. You might find these flying around your food or in the kitchen. And this is a type of beetle. It's called a rhinoceros beetle. And I just learned that spiders, which are arachnids, are not considered insects because they don't have wings, their bodies are in two separate parts, and they can't chew, and they don't have antenna. All right, let's put these insects down and start with an opening song. If you come to preschool story time, this song is a little similar to that song, but also a little different. We're going to reach our hands up high and down low and turn around just like our opening song in preschool story time, but we're also going to do some different things like wiggle our fingers and wiggle our shoulders and wiggle our toes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Up, take your hands up. Down, take your hands down. Turn around. Touch the ground. Touch the sky. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. You can't see my toes. They're wiggling. <laughs> Wiggle your shoulders and say hello. Now we're going to continue to stretch out our fingers and get them nice and strong for working on our writing skills. And we're going to do a finger rhyme about a beehive. Make your one hand into a fist and cover your hand with the other hand. And this will be our beehive. A beehive is where bees live and where they make honey. Now we're going to do some counting and see if we can get the bees to come out of our pretend hive. Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? They're hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. Now we're going to count and lift up our fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Zzz, they're alive! Let's try that one more time. Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz, they're alive! <laughs> okay, now that we did a fun finger rhyme and opening song, let's read a book. This book is called Bugs, 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 and it's written by Bob Barner, and the publisher is Chronicle Kids. Chronicle Books from San Francisco, my bad. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs. I want to see bugs. Maybe you can go outside in your yard today and look for some bugs. A bee flew by me while I was trying to get ready for story time, and I've seen lots of ants around my yard in those ant hills. Butterflies that fly in the sky. Make your wings into butterfly wings. Spotted ladybugs that go creeping by. Friendly daddy long legs that never bite. Grasshoppers hop, hop, hopping out of sight. Try to hop around your room or where you are outside. Hop, 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 hopping like a grasshopper. <laughs> a fuzzy caterpillar with tiny feet, tiny small feet. Bees buzzing by flowers that smell so sweet. 
take a big whiff of that flower. <sighs> Smells so sweet. A long line of ants that work so much. Roly poly bugs that curl up when you touch. When you touch them, they curl up. Bugs, bugs, bugs. I can see bugs all around me. And here is a page that lists the actual size of bugs. The butterfly is really big over here. And then we have a tiny little ladybug. And at the end of this book, there's a bug -a meter that also lists some other facts. It says, let's see what it says. Can it fly? Let's go to the grasshopper. Yes, the grasshopper can fly. Where does the grasshopper live? In the tall grass. So grasshoppers live in tall grass. How many legs does the grasshopper have? The grasshopper has six legs. And does the grasshopper sting? No, the grasshopper does not sting. But if you go over here to the bee, does it fly? Yes. Where does it live? Near flowers. How many legs? Six. And does it sting? Yes, it stings. But all of these bugs and insects are very important for our flowers and the earth around us. That was a very informative book. To end, we're going to play a game. This is my flannel board, and I have lots of insects on this flannel board. A butterfly, a bee, a grasshopper. What do we have here with the black spots and the red body? A ladybug and an ant. One at a time, I'm going to hide a bug under the rug and we're going to have to guess which one of our bugs is missing and which one is hiding under the rug. Okay, let me turn it around. Take one last peek at the bugs. I'm going to hide a bug under my rug and we're going to say bug in a rug, bug in a rug, which one of these bugs is snug in my rug? And give yourself a big squeeze. All right, here we go. Bug in a rug, bug in a rug. Which one of these bugs is snug in my rug? Which one of the bugs is missing? It's a green bug that lives in the tall grass and loves to hop. Did you guess the grasshopper? Nice job if you guessed the grasshopper. If not, let's try again. Okay, I'm going to turn it around. There's a big truck coming by right now. That's why it's so loud. Bug in a rug, bug in a rug. Which one of these bugs is snug in my rug? This bug loves to fly. It has wings that flap around in the sky. Which one of the bugs is missing? It's the butterfly. Ooh, that's Which bug is missing? Bug in a rug, bug in a rug. Which one of these bugs is snug in my rug? Hmm, this bug is really small. It has a red body and black spots. We have a book about this bug at our library. 
and a girl who likes to dress up as this bug. It's a ladybug. That was a fun game. To end, we're going to do some bee breathing. Get out your bee wings. Roll your bee wings back and your bee wings forward. Take a deep breath in. And we're going to buzz when we let our breath out. All right, here we go. Roll your wings and take a deep breath in. And bzzz. Great job, everybody. I hope you had fun learning about bugs and insects. And I can't wait to see you for another Little Clips for Little Readers. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.